Hey there, Photo Universe. All right. So today we're going to be talking about day trip backpacking out in the field. Not backpacking, but how to cam carry your camera gear. Basically, we're talking about the Low Pro Rover AW2, which is that bag over there. Um, I organized my gear in this really big Tamarack made in the USA. Great camera bag. Had it for years. Uh, it's a 312, I think. Might be a 310. Um, I can put my MacBook back here if I need to. This I use this like if I'm loading up the camper and we're going out. I'll store my gear in here or Pelican case, depending. So anyway, microfiber lens cleaning cloth is great for uh, cleaning off your lenses if you get wet. Okay, so the 5D's over here, 7D's over here. This is the big system. This the the, the K5 the bag is like you know you put three of them in there. But for, but for the Canon gear, when I'm doing something professional, <clears throat> not just shooting for myself, that, this, is, this is the big gear. Okay, so we're going to, why, why do we switch over to this Low Pro? Because this Low Pro is the best backpack I've found. Okay, because the deal is this, all right? So up here we've got our Lee system and uh, filters and things. And uh, it opens from the top. Okay. Here you've got your Phoenix headlight. I keep that in there. That's an extra. Got a couple of those. Those are awesome. Nothing fancy. Check out his YouTube channel. That's his recommended headlamp. Works great. With the, um, it's a Phoenix headlamp with the uh, four sevens Mini AA. Uh, no, Mini one two three. Fantastic. Um, I move it back so that it can't spin. And when I want to use it, I push it forward so I can spin it to turn it on. And this way it doesn't turn on inadvertently. Not that it has, but I just make sure it doesn't. <clears throat> Over here I've got my Canon cable release. And I've got an uh, Allen wrench for my uh, quick release plates. That stays in there all the time. Okay, so in here, <clears throat> this is how I load up the bag. And this is what I love about this bag. You get to where you're going and the clamshell's open. So you're not laying everything out flat in the dirt. All right, so what do we load up in here? We can load up the Canon 70-200-2.8. Awesome. Fits right in there. I've been carrying this stuff in this bag for years like this. We've got the 16-35-2.8. And that goes right over here in this section. With the lens hood for the 16-35, that fits up here in the front section. <coughs> Uh, landscapes, I can go lighter. I can go to the 70 to 200 f4, 24 to 105, pops right in there, like so. Another microfiber cloth goes right on top. Straps with the donkey straps with the metal go on top of that so it doesn't scratch anything. Ta da! Awesomeness. It's all right in there. <clears throat> if I need to bring a flash, pop the flash right in there. Put my uh, filters in here, my batteries. So that's here. This is a Tamarack. I forget what this is. The MXS5368. <clears throat> I keep CF cards, spare battery, lens cleaning cloth in there. Spare battery right there. Canon's got these really cool covers. I, I set it up so that blue means it's charged. Flip it around. Gray means it's not. You know, it's used. And uh, so. CF cards. I'm really liking those um, Transcend 400Xs, 16 gigabytes. Get them off Amazon.com for 50 bucks. It's a good deal, I think. Okay, now, so there's your low pro. Guess what? So I'm going to be day hiking. We drove somewhere. We got a little trail. We're going to go photograph a waterfall or something. You can slide that down behind there, but I just kind of pop it in there and then pop this around here. Pull that tight, and there you go. I mean, okay, what more do you want? You can put some lunch in there, you know. that This is not even loaded. The, the, you could put a lot more stuff in here, but very comfortable shoulder strap. I've done miles with this. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not an overnighter deal, and you're not going to be able to bring this along and a backpack for overnighting. This is the Low Pro Rover AW2. It's also got a deal... I guess you take your tripod off of here. I don't ever use it because I never get into that. 
be out of weather. But it's got a deal back here where underneath here you could pop this open and it's got a rain cover that comes out the back and covers the whole thing up. So that's, that's I've been using this for about, oh, five years now. And that's one of the best backpacks. You can see it's pretty worn. But this is one of the best backpacks I've ever, photo backpacks for carrying your stuff. That's how I carry my stuff if I'm going to go hiking more than, you know, if I'm not doing an urban thing. That's how I do my landscapes, right there. That's the rig. Rover AW2, low pro. Best bag I've owned. One, one of the bags I've been most happy with. Because you can put a water bottle in here, water bottle over here, snacks, whatever. You got your tripod. You got. I mean, I, I use this for, for any time I'm going to do doing any kind of hiking to get anywhere. I mean, even if it's half a mile. Even if, you know, if I know I'm going to be doing photography and that's my main thing, and I'm going to be walking and carrying my gear, this is it. And I've had, I've had them all. I've had the Tamarack. I, I love Tamarack. I think it's great. But the designs were goofy. I just, I had the Tamarack, I forget whether the System 5 or whatever it was, the, the Extreme 5, the 4. They open up this way. I just never liked them. This, this bag, this, I, I, I don't like most camera bags. That's why I have so many of them. This one I, I use and I go to. This is one of my go to bags right here. As is this one. For just like if I have to do a deal where I'm bringing everything in a kitchen sink like a wedding or something, that's the one. So, anyway, that's Ed with Photo Universe telling you about my favorite backpack. Hope that helps you. Um, that's uh, one of my favorite ones right there. Low Pro Rover AW2. And, um, great bag. Yeah, really happy with that one. All right, Edward Federer, thanks.